In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use breakout sessions for your Zoom meetings up next. Hey guys, my name is Jeff. Thanks so much for checking out this video. So for your Zoom meetings, you're probably going to find it very useful to use breakout sessions. And that is going to allow you to take any members that are part of your Zoom chat and break them up into smaller groups so that they can have more individual conversations. And let me show you how you can do this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is enable breakout sessions on your Zoom account. And you don't need to have a paid account for this. You can do this on a free account. You're going to want to go to the Zoom website, log into your account, and then click on My Account over on the right. This is going to bring up your account information. And from here, you are going to want to go down to Settings. Under Settings, you are going to want to enable the Breakout Sessions uh, link here. And the easiest way to find it, you can scroll down or if uh, you hold down Control plus F, that brings up the search feature and you can start typing in Breakout and that will take you right to it on the page. And you should have a little slider here that might be turned off. You need to make sure that that is turned on and allow hosts to assign participants to breakout rooms when scheduling. You're going to want to check those items as well. If you've got that switched on, then you are ready to go to use breakout rooms and you can go ahead and schedule or host your meeting. So we are in our Zoom meeting and I have my account as the host here and then I've got accounts for the rest of my family uh, and I'm just using their accounts so they're not actually going to appear in this video. It'll just make things a little bit easier for explaining to you guys but you can see their names and we are in our Zoom meeting and we're having fun talking but now we've gotten to the point where I want to start, start some smaller, more individualized conversations. So we're going to use the breakout rooms feature. And if I go to the bottom of my Zoom chat screen here, uh, because I enabled breakout rooms in the settings, I now have this breakout rooms button. And this button is not going to appear if you don't have it enabled in settings. Go back to the last steps I was telling you. Uh, under settings to get this button to appear. And real quick, in every one of our videos, we hide Tinker. He's our little hidden robot that's going to briefly pop up somewhere during this video. If you happen to spot him, be sure to write down the time of when you saw him. Leave it down in the comment section below, along with your best comment for your chance to get your name as well as your YouTube channel featured in our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page on our website. So we can click on that, and that is going to allow me to create some breakout rooms. I've got three participants that I can put into, say, two rooms, and uh, I can do this automatically or I can do this manually. Let's start off here by doing this automatically, and uh, that'll put one to two participants per room, and I can create these rooms. And it automatically creates these rooms here and just kind of splits people up. I also have the option here to rename these rooms, so if I wanted to call this like Team 1, I can do that and then go down here, rename, call us Team 2. I can do that. And then when I am ready to go, because I'm just having it automatically put people in, this is how it split them up. If I didn't like it, I can always at some time here go to Move 2 and take Carter and put him down on Team 2 here with Samantha. Uh, and now Valerie will be the only one in Team 1. But if this looks good to me for the breakout rooms, uh, I am going to open all rooms. Before I do that, I do want to just show you guys here that this options pull down is very useful. Uh, some of these are probably not going to be check marked right off uh, when you start, but I check marked them all here so that we could go through them. Let's just go through the options you have with breakout rooms. So by having this one checked, move all participants into breakout rooms automatically. If you have this box check marked, when we open these breakout rooms, it's going to move people automatically. They don't have to do anything themselves, and that's kind of nice to have. If you don't have this checked, people will have to manually go and move themselves to breakout rooms. Uh, the next box to check here is allow participants to return to the main session at any time. Um, check mark this if you want them to do that. If you want them to stay in their breakout rooms and not have that option, then you would keep this unchecked. 
Uh, breakout rooms will close automatically after a certain amount of time. You can set this to whatever you want. It could be 30 minutes, it could be five minutes. Just for right now, for demonstrations, we'll set it to five minutes. Uh, you can check mark if you want to be notified when the time is up. Uh, you can check mark if you want a countdown to start after closing the breakout rooms. And this is very useful as you'll see here when the breakout room sessions are beginning to end, you can have a counter count down for 10, 15, 60 seconds, 120 seconds, and everybody's going to see that timer. So that is very useful so that people will know, hey, I got 30 seconds left to finish up my conversation uh, because we're going to be returning all back into the main session of our Zoom chat. So those are options available to you. Let's open up all these breakout rooms and you'll notice here that nobody's joined yet. It's in the process of moving everybody. I am now on my screen here, the only person that is left in the main Zoom chat session. The other three people that were in this main room have now moved to their breakout rooms. And what I can do is I can join either with Valerie or let's join in with Carter and Samantha and see what they would be up to. And then you'll notice here that it's joining breakout rooms team two and now I am in this particular breakout room with Samantha and Carter and I can see what's happening with their breakout room here uh, and at any point I can switch back to the main session or I can join in with poor Valerie who's in her breakout room all by herself I can see at the top of the screen here that uh, there are four minutes remaining and then everybody's going to return back to that main session. Again, I can go to breakout rooms here and I can leave this room. I can uh, leave room two. So we're going to do that and you'll see here it's returning me back to my main session and it might take a few moments. Now I am the only one back in this session. Uh, while everybody is in these breakout rooms, I also have by clicking the breakout rooms button, the option here to broadcast a message to all. So if I click on that, I can say something like, hey everyone, we are ending the breakout early. So I will hit that broadcast button and that is going to send that message out to everybody that's in their breakout rooms. So they're gonna see that. And even though we've still got three minutes counting down here, I am going to close all these rooms and everybody is going to get this message saying that all breakout rooms are going to close in those 25 seconds. So they can finish their conversations. They can uh, just kind of finish whatever work that they are talking about and know that in 14, 13 seconds here, they are going to rejoin our main uh, Zoom chat meeting. And then from that point, uh, you can finish whatever business you're doing and close out that Zoom meeting. I will see here the breakout rooms. Uh, everybody is going to uh, jump back into the main Zoom meeting that we have. And then from this point, if you did want to go back into more breakout sessions, you can do that and you can recreate those breakout rooms and all existing rooms will be replaced. So it would do that same separation it did before. Uh, some of the features like the screen sharing that sometimes I would use if I was showing uh, maybe an image on my screen or something like that, that uh, does not work once people go into their breakout sessions because you would just be screen sharing to this main Zoom meeting. Now I believe if I were to join one of those breakout sessions and then screen share, those members in that particular room would be able to see what I am sharing on my screen. But if I'm in this main screen session, uh, that screen sharing would not, they wouldn't be able to see what I would be sharing in those breakout rooms. I hope this video helped you out. Please be sure to smash that like button if you got some value out of this, as well as subscribe to our channel. I have done other Zoom meeting videos with other tips and tricks, including how to change your background, how to screen share, how to invite people to different meetings that you've scheduled, and more. My name is Jeff. This is Tinker Forward, where we do all sorts of tech, toy, gadget reviews, do-it-yourself projects around the home, as well as for computers and more. Hey, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you guys in the next video. 
And real quick, in all of our videos, we hide Tinker, who is our little hidden robot. If you happen to see him, be sure to um, record what, be sure to write down what, along with your best comment, and you will have a chance at getting, whew. And what this is going to allow me to do then is create some breakout rooms. And I have done this before, so we're gonna get rid of that. Let's try this again. Hidden robot that will briefly pop up somewhere in this video. If you happen to spot him, be sure to, why is this so hard for me to do? 